Where is Miss Plum? Hello. Can you hear me, Miss Plum? I can hear you. And here's Lara. She's doing. Why, hello. Hello. <laughs> what is she doing? Um, She's uh... making signs. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing work. Wow, look at that. <laughs> well, Steven must love that, the whole setup. <laughs> He must be just loving it. Well, well not quite. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Can you turn off that annoying music? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> hey, and here's here's Maddie. Say hello to me. Annoying. Don't don't call it annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what who was that you were showing me? That's Matthew. My Very roommate. good. My roommate. Yeah. So uh, it's Space Coast Festival this weekend. And we're not there. Are you going? We, uh, failed to make it there. Well, I don't know. It's like. this. Remember back up a while when I said map out all the events of this year. Remember I said make a list. It was, it was the only thing I asked you to do, I think, ever. Okay, I know what the events are now. <laughs> well, we need to identify them and then go to them. We have to go to diversity. I really want, okay, let me, I've put them on my calendar. Yeah, diversity. <clears throat> yeah, diversity I can do probably. Oh, and I'm doing Burn in the Forest next weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, diversity, I don't know how we're going to get tickets. Is it sold out? Yeah, but there's always tickets. There's always tickets for sale. I think there's some towns where it's still they still got tickets. Okay, I should, I, I should do that. Round up tickets. <laughs> I gotta get. Oh man. I've heard amazing things about diversity. My hair is shiny. Okay, so here's the scoop. I'm going to Europe. When are you going to Europe? The last week of July. Holy shit, to Bulgaria? We're gonna go to France to see Vince's parents. And then I'll probably go to Bulgaria for a bit, like a week. What's gonna happen to the Wonder Dog? We will find a babysitter. How long are you going for? Maybe like two weeks in France and then a week in, in Bulgaria or maybe like two weeks in Bulgaria. Maybe, maybe four. Three to four weeks. Okay. Three to four weeks? Yeah. But diversity is right before that. Is it? Yeah. Then it's electric love right after that. Okay. It goes Base Coast, Burn in the Forest, Diversity, and Festivus on the same weekend, and then electric love. And then it goes Shambhala. Motion Notion, Burning Man. We should beat all of them. Right? Actually, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. 
I guess I guess we all have to go through what we had to go through. <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing. <laughs> Okay, well, let's focus on one at a time. I mean, I want to go to Burning Man. Do you? It's expensive. Not if you're rich. Not if you're rich. <laughs> I think we need to come together as planetary guardians. Uh-huh. To, to pull, <laughs> pull. To pull the, 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 the support from all of those people who have too much money. <laughs> You're right. You're the ideas man. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm the ideas man. That's funny enough. <laughs> you are. <laughs> hey, what did you think of the latest uh, meme? Uh, it's a <laughs> Quite risque. All your things seem to be a bit more risque. I thought it was jumping into the new risque. We need to get some action. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. I like anything you do, I'm like, I'm on board. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but let's let's try to get to the diversity and then um I, why did you want to why did you want to zoom today you got something to tell me like what's what's going on well we're not we're su i had about two weeks of complete non-interest in anything at all okay like to the bottom of nothingness nothing not nothing was it because we were there and, and it was just so, so horrible that you had to take two weeks? That usually, actually, usually takes months. <laughs> it usually takes months. <gasps> okay, yeah. perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> huh. So, it just... Uh -huh. It just seems, it, it comes to me again, when you get rid of everything, then you look at everything that is there or not there, and then you focus on the things or the people around, right? And so there's Lara, and she's doing signs. She's within proximity. She's around. Over there, are some other people, they're far away. They're not around. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> When people are closer together, shit happens. Closer. Anyway, that said, this room is being turned into the command center. This is the, all the maps are going up. Got the green screen. Got a couch. That was a huge missing element. Because, like, you need a place to nap. You know? <laughs> if you're going to do anything in the world, if you don't got a place to nap, and everyone takes that for granted. You got your bed, you got your couch, you got your place. Not everyone's got a place. Not everyone has a place to go nap, you know. And I think when you're homeless, that's one of the, the things which people don't think about. Wait, you got another couch besides the red couch or is that you talking about the red couch? Just the red couch. <laughs> Okay, and has Steven said anything about all the stuff? No. Oh, that's good. No, he just makes noise eight hours a day. Oh. <laughs> well, he's in a, on a, in a rush. Well, not really. I mean, he's just, yeah, he's got to get his construction done. So, I mean, that's just the way it is. Yeah. Hey, look at that thing around my head. Yeah, I noticed that. It's like a halo. <laughs> if you before it was more like a halo if you like if you kneel down a bit yeah look <laughs> there <laughs> it's like jesus <laughs> anyways um okay so you're gonna get on the ticket situation right well i don't know i mean i don't see able that able to do pretty much anything yeah me neither I just, uh, 
I feel like a blob in the ocean that's been floating there for again two weeks of just blob floating. Yeah, same. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. freaking you. No productivity. Yeah, like none. Don't want to do anything. Nothing. Right. Is that you? <laughs> what do you mean? Is that me? What do I have to do with that? Well, I'm just. What, let's just say that as we create this group energy field, that we all become tapped in more and more, but we all affect each other more. Okay, nice try. You want to blame me because you can't get anything done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to work. That's not, I'm not, I don't accept. Maybe it's you. Well, I... Is it you? This is your fault. This is probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, now that we got that straight, <laughs> next question. <laughs> yeah. Well, getting diversity tickets. You know, if we had a hundred thousand people that watched this show, um, you know, probably the next day we'd have ten tickets, right, just sent to us because we're so exceptional <laughs> all being. But, but because we have five. That is the goal. And, and, is and usually, the five people are your exes in some way, or people who stalk you or hate you. And, we can't show or talk about them, so we don't really have an audience other than stalkers. Elijah, this is its not about the now. <laughs> okay? I thought it was about the now. It's the opposite of what all those spiritual teachers are teaching. <laughs> okay. What? Forget about the now. <laughs> it's always about later on. It's actually about the future right very very aquarian of me you know okay well since you're our glorious leader um <laughs> it is the age of aquarius so that's all i have <laughs> <laughs> but anyways i worked today it was very um annoying anyways i can't i can't talk right now because like I have to close the door because I don't I don't want some people to hear what I'm saying. They give me the goods. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling like very blah, you know, about everything. It's like, do I even want to go to France? Do I even want to go to meet his parents? Like, I'm a little, little bit nervous about it. You know? It's like, what am I doing? Is this what I want? But it's like, it's just like, I should just go, right? And just like. I think most people would probably like to go to Europe for a month and. Right? Maybe I'm just nervous. Just enjoy it. Oh, you're nervous about meeting the parents? Yeah. But you meet, you've met them on Skype. Yeah, but it's like two weeks. Right. <laughs> They're going to see the real plum. <sighs> Does she ever get off the phone? She's always on the phone. Not going to go well. <laughs> no, just kidding. They're going to love me. What are you talking about? Any advice for when meeting the parents? Never talk. <laughs> Just, Don't bring up 9 11. No, well. Don't I, talk about the Holocaust. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Our ratings just plummeted. Me and Vince often have fights about that. You should see what I'm doing with your. Vince is gonna have awakening. Really? I'm making a video specific. I'm, I'm actually doing what we set out to do. No. Yeah. What What are you doing? Well, half is you and half is 9/11 stuff. <laughs> half. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> and we're just taking a basic conversation that you had, right? Sitting on the couch, wondering about Vince and wondering, you know, you bring up the point. It's very, it's a very good opening, and then it's only two minutes, and then I just broke it up and, and just putting in all this great other stuff. Oh, amazing. Okay. I'm, this is the thing. You're not, you're not making videos. 
That's the problem. You're, it's your fault. Yeah, but the, I'm not getting inspired. Okay, you know what? That's my fault. That is my fault. Well, I don't know what to do. Do you think it's Vince's fault? Yeah. Like <laughs> He's gonna go. He's gonna go. <laughs> I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, do I should I even go to Europe? Like, what are you doing? But I'm gonna go, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe there's a reason, like, we're being stunted right now, you know? You mean for the past four years since we've known each other? No, there was some moments of high productivity. What are you talking about? Actually, you're right. You're right. You're right. When I was single. <laughs> Those brief, that, that one brief period when I was single. <laughs> Uh, so are you um I can't answer that. I can't answer that. You can't ask that. No. no. Okay. Um wait a second. I just got to get a little bit more fireball. <laughs> ah. Always with the fireball like Elijah. Oh. This is why productivity is low. Okay, he's just drinking. <laughs> like, I mean, we have to understand and believe or trust that there is a higher purpose. <laughs> a higher purpose for what? Us just talking like this? For life. <clears throat> for life yeah what about being a planetary guardian and protecting mother earth from the psychopaths that are trying to kill us all yes that's what we're trying we want to do that yes I mean, <laughs> yeah i mean isn't i thought that was part of the plan sorry sorry that's the plan that's the plan but i'm just like you're like everybody you forget everybody <laughs> forgets and then you go in your little world and then you just Get, you're useless just like me <laughs> I'm just saying like maybe there's a reason there's what <laughs> like you know if I was single then things just might get too crazy they would definitely change <laughs> Single, single women are so much different than women with guys. I don't know what happens to you, but you just turn into just mush balls. Yeah. It's because, like, you're only thinking about one thing. Dinner. Banging. What? Banging. Banging dinner. Banging and dinner. He's thinking about no, dinner. No, we're not, we're not about guys. We're not thinking about banging. That was uh, Lara's introduction. <laughs> That's what you guys think. Okay, Lara and you guys are no. thinking about banging. That's no. <laughs> Most women are thinking about reproduction. Oh. Most men are thinking about banging. Are they? And Lara. Just kidding. Um. <laughs> So, uh, have you been having fun? Not really. <laughs> um, I kind of wanted to go to Base Coast today, but I don't know. It just seems like I don't want to do anything. It's, I don't want to, I don't want to, it's like, okay, I'm going to go to Base Coast and what am I going to accomplish there? I'm going to do a shit ton of drugs and, gonna, you know, like, am I really going to accomplish anything? You know, well, do you know what? Or do you know why? Because you, they got your mind. They took it over again. You, you forgot. Forgot the plan. Forgot what you are doing. Forgot. Gone. Proximity alert. As soon as you're gone, you're gone. Like that with everybody. We need to be in a crew. Four-person crew in two RVs. Getting to the front lines. You should have seen what happened, man, because we don't have our own editor. It got fucked up totally. 
the video totally fucked up wait the salmon video yeah but i got some good shit but it's uh it's like it's like if someone else edits it they don't add in all the the missing pieces like the the political stuff the parts that's missing so i got i'm working on this one with one with david suzuki but i bring in the crown i bring in like the real reason that all this shit is going down is, is the crown and their jurisdiction and what they're doing. And it just seems they always miss the point. Because as soon as you, you forget about title and jurisdiction and that shit, you're lost in their legal crap. So I think I'm going to make 10 memes. Okay. I'm going to make 10 memes. So send me 10 photographs. Okay. Okay, I'm going to upload the photos to Dropbox. Okay. Ten okay. I've got some photos from a photo shoot that I did with Pierre. And I'm going to put them in this video. That's what's, that's what's going to happen. What? The memes? Memes. We'll put them all because we must have at least ten by now. Yes. We've got to make one really good video rather than a whole bunch of sort of, you know, very good. Yes. <laughs> Shut up. I'm always. I don't Our know best shooting. video is the one in Grandview Park. That's when I was single. Yeah. And it wasn't me and you in a Zoom. Yeah. If you have to be in person, we have to smoke weed. And that, those are the only two requirements. Right. And you Wait, guys you know what? You got some good footage of. Uh, you got some okay footage um, at your old place. When I came there and we did some interviews. Yeah, yeah. And you put all those on YouTube. And what about the ones we just shot? Aren't you going to put any of those on YouTube? That's the one I'm working on. Okay. But maybe you should just put the raw ones, the whole thing. You want thing. the raw ones up? Okay. Just in case. I just want it to be somewhere. You know what I mean? No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Like, I just want it there so it's there. Because otherwise it's just going to disappear, you know? You're right. But maybe you just didn't think that they were, because the other ones you did put up. The other ones you put up, maybe you just didn't think it was really anything worth putting up. No, it usually has to do with whether I'm pissed off at you or not. Oh, well, I still don't know why you got pissed off. Like, what were you pissed off about? I don't know. <laughs> I want to know. And you know what? No, I'm pissed off at you because you said I got all dolled up. You said you were going to get the camera from Lara, and then you fucking disappeared and didn't show up. And yeah. you didn't even say bye. And yeah. we had to go. Yeah. Oh, listen, everybody. Freaking Elijah lied and said he's going to get the camera while I was getting ready for my shoot. And then he just never came back for hours and made Vince have to go take the ferry, and that was it. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Okay. Waiting for Elijah to come back and shoot. Why didn't you come back and shoot? Why? <coughs> I was meditating under a tree. You have one job. I was meditating under a tree. And I uh, fell asleep. What? On the way back. Why would you stop at a tree? This felt, felt like something to do. I guess because I was... I was pretty stoned. I mean, I was Thanks for reminding me about this whole situation. I was like, finally, we're going to shoot something. I got ready. Oh, and then me and Vince. <gasps> this is what we'll use. Me and Vince shot photographs because you were gone. I was dressed up and ready to go. Right. And you didn't show up. So I was like, fine, we're just going to do it. At least we're going to do a photo shoot. So we have a photo shoot of me on the green screen. Great. Yeah. Send all that to me. Okay. They're Oops. only on the iPhone. They're not on like a nice camera, but it's a good camera. It'll be fine. Yeah. Great. It's, yeah. That's what had to, that was supposed to happen. And Vince was acting like a freaking cameraman, right? Yeah. What? He was acting like a cameraman. What do you mean? Vince. So how was he supposed to act? Well, that's it. Most of the time he's not. Oh, you he wanted to? Yeah. 
He doesn't even know he's supposed to be a camera guy. It's like, what's with camera people? Maybe he's not supposed to be a camera guy. I thought he was supposed to be on camera so we could do an interview. An introduction. Hey, I think I I thought you recorded some things though of him. Didn't I say like this is my boyfriend or something? Like, didn't I? I think I got yeah some stuff in front of the green screen. I think I still got some good stuff. Yeah, well, no, because you just didn't come back. <laughs> How did it feel to have someone not there when you need them? Okay, I get it. Okay, you've made your point. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I, you got the point then. You knew why. That's not why you did it. You did it because you fell asleep. No, I just made that up. That's <laughs> stupid. That's stupid. You just sabotaged. You sabotaged our shoot. I asked you the question again. How does it feel when someone doesn't show up when you need them? I get it. It sucks. Exactly. <laughs> I show up. Hmm? I show up. Most of the time I show up. You never show up. I do. I always show up. I'm just a little late, but I show up. You, can, you don't come at, as I said, past halftime in a basketball game and count that as it's okay. Sometimes I don't think you plan your schedule properly, and I think we show up, and then it's not ready to go. <laughs> You're already, whatever was ready was like three hours before you showed up. By the time you get there, it's a whole fucking other world. You were supposed to be there at 2 in the afternoon, not 9 at night. You know what? It's divine timing. And you know what? You weren't meant to come back that day. And I wasn't meant to get there. Exactly. That's what you always say. That's your, no matter what happens, that's all that we got to think about. Uh, well, I'm a firm believer in not forcing things, right? <laughs> it should flow. No. <laughs> What are you talking about? What happened when you and Vince Schedules were are for losers. When you when you and Vince were leaving the building and you're yelling at him, you're shouting, you're like he's trying to find the dog food and you, and you know that you just went from having 15 minutes to no minutes and you knew you had to make the ferry and you pushed it, you force it because you always force it in terms of deadlines for the fucking ferry. Cuz you always wait to the last minute and then you go. Yeah, so you're saying you never force it. When you force it, you force it. Wait, what were we supposed to do? Miss the ferry and stay there and wait for Elijah to show up? No, I'm talking about another time. Okay. Well, anyway, anyway, okay. So, I think I'm clearing a lot of air. Okay, I'm going to send you the photos. Look, we always say we're going to do all this stuff, and then we never do it. Well, it takes two to, do, to accomplish that. <coughs> I'm going to do it right now, okay? Okay. This is a whole new thing with everybody. Everybody. What? <laughs> <laughs> Me. You haven't even watched the footage, have you? I watched it. You didn't watch the stuff in front of the green screen. You forgot about it, that you had it. I got a lot of footage that I haven't watched. You know what? I'm proud of you. You get lots done. So you know what? You get way more done than I do. <laughs> well, that's true when I actually work. Anyway, I think that'll one day I hope it'll just switch. It'll switch. It'll be a big switcheroo. I'll be just sitting there pretty and you'll be out there doing whatever the fuck you do with that phone. Making us lots of money. All right. I love it. Hey, hey. That's what we need. Plum on it. Just freaking. What can we sell? What product can we sell? Anyways, I'll think about that. The internet is the way to make money. For sure. Okay. So we covered to the end. Is this the end of our? Yeah, this is a good. This was a good run. I think uh, I like how you insisted that we shoot. You know, it's Friday. We got to stick to the schedule. <laughs> we, <laughs> that's, that's a good way to end it because we we never do. <laughs>
we're gonna. And I look, I was like, no, we're doing it right now. I know. I was surprised at seeing so much energy. I had to. I, I gave you the out. You had the out. You did. You did. And I, and I was graceful about it. I didn't guilt so you. Good. <laughs> Maturing. But I must say, it's good to see you. It's very good to talk. You too. Oh my God, I love it. Look, nobody understands the bond. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I feel special. You know. I feel special. Well, you are when I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I still don't know why. Okay, you still haven't explained why you were mad. I that, that that'll be the next show. That'll be the next show. Let, let's have our viewers stewing, wondering, you know? You don't even know why you're mad. I'll come up with something. Okay. <laughs> All right, see you next week. Okay.